Hey, what's up guys? I wanna do a quick video on a tool called TalkWalker. If you've worked in enterprise marketing or social media or PR, then most likely you've heard of them before. If you're new to the space or you're a student, uh, TalkWalker is one of the leading social intelligence platforms on the market. I'm gonna skip the subtleties and talk about why I like it and jump right into it. So I wanna make this video pretty uh, uh, brief and concise. And, um, and also make it actionable. So there's a free version, which is why I'm doing this video uh, for students and also for people who are kind of new to the industry and wanting to learn how to use social listening as part of their marketing strategy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in ChatGPT. That is kind of the, the trend that is taking the world by storm. And one of the things that you're gonna notice right away is this top kind of navigation. There's some filtering and there's some date, there's some things to just consider here. Now, again, one of the limitations is seven days worth of data. It doesn't go back any further than that, but even then the insights are pretty fantastic. Now, these filters are important also because you can filter by things like sentiment, media type. If you just wanna look at the news or blogs or social media, you can sort by country or filter by country. Um, and if you choose um, the US, you can also filter by states. So it's pretty, pretty robust in that regard. You can choose by language or particular demographic. So that's kind of up here at the top. There's also some navigation over here on the left. Now, right now, this is a high level uh, snapshot of ChatGBT over the last seven days, right? 182,000 mentions, almost three quarters of a million engagements, 41% is positive, 9% negative, um, reaching potentially 4.1 billion people, okay? So pretty amazing. You can just kind of hover over this. I'm really intrigued and fascinated by how fast this is and just the UI. So just keep that in mind as we kind of go through these each of these areas. I'm gonna spend most of the time here in top themes because when you're doing content optimization, these are some ways that you can look and understand what other keywords and, and hashtags are people using within the context of chat GBT. So again, this is just our keyword. We can add more keywords here and it supports Boolean. So we can add things like NFT if we wanted to. So um, you certainly want to do some research before you jump into the analysis or this could be part of your research and you can start adding keywords that you see here up in here just to get a more robust uh, data set now right now we're looking at hashtags but i can also look at top themes which is more keyword centric right so you're going to get whoops there we go there we go top themes it will also include hashtags but also words now we're only looking at, at a hashtag, so the majority of the results will be hashtags, but if I wanted to do something like, and hit enter, um, it's gonna basically update the data dynamically and you'll see, hopefully we'll see uh, keywords in addition to hashtags in the results. So there you go. You see things like technology and models and future and quality. This is great for optimizing content, right? You, these are things you can incorporate into headlines and blogs and, and social content. But let me continue on and show you just the, the robust and the power that, that this has. I'm gonna select accounts. Now these are the uh, accounts that are mentioned um, within this context. So these are people, you know, you might wanna call them influencers, but you're gonna see things like YouTube. People are linking to their YouTube channels, um, but these are potential influencers. Now, if I click on one like Harry on Crypto, it's gonna show me like a pop-up and it's gonna give me a drill down. So how many times was he mentioned? And you know, again, it's neutral conversation, keywords relevant to, to, his, to those mentions. So you could do that with any keyword or any kind of link here that's highlighted in the results. I'm also gonna look at bio. This is interesting to understand who is actually having these conversations on social media. You can see developers, authors, consultants, business people, entrepreneurs, Python engineers, things like that. So let me go back here to top themes and then you can also change the visualization. So right now, this is the word cloud. You've probably seen these before. You can also choose different ways to, to, to basically display or visualize the data. You can do bar charts, you can do tables, you can do a bubble word cloud, you can do trending themes. Let's try trending themes um, and, and see what that gives us. Um, and it just shows us you know, emerging themes, decreasing themes and new themes. Um, don't really love this, it's not a, a potential visualization it's just information and data that you can use but i really like the wheel chart uh, in other platforms it's called the topic wheel and this just shows you within kind of the you know our our keyword set these are the you know the the themes that are driving the conversation so chat people chat open ai chat um, writing world ask 
if you click on one again it has a pop-up and you can kind of get more information on that particular keyword it sh shows you how many times um, it's been it's been mentioned and then also more keywords relevant to that particular query that you clicked on so you can do you can do a lot here for this free version and again i'm very impressed with what it does um, let's choose influencers and i'm going to just show you two different ways to look at this now it's going to show us social media now influence is i'm not talking about influence on this video because i'm using terminology here because everyone measures influence differently and there's a lot of uh, considerations and things to think about so what we have here is we have people on TikTok, YouTubers, Twitter as well. So, so we're, it's sorting by average engage, engagement per mention, um, but there's a lot of ways to kind of sort the data. Now, if I were just to choose news, you're going to notice something here. These are going to be authors. These are going to be journalists who are writing if they've written about ChatGBT. So here we go. Aaron Hale from Al Jazeera. You have people like, well... Getty Images is not a, a journalist, but I know why that's there. So maybe not the greatest example, but if we select reach, maybe we'll see a better result. It's just sorting the data differently. So here we have, let's see, nothing here. Let me do posts. We can start to see, you know, are there journalists from VentureBeat or Fortune or Forbes um, who are writing a lot about this topic? And again, not the greatest um, result. Maybe if I added business, the results would be different. But Again, different ways to look at who the influencers are. You can also choose demographics. Now, notice this this filtering up here hasn't changed, so it's you know you're not going to get a lot of data here. So I'm going to unselect news and get everything in here, and hopefully we'll get more data in here. You can see how they identify from a gender standpoint, their top interests, the occupations, um, and then you can also break down the world map. So where are these conversations happening? So right now we're looking at the world. And right now it should color code so you can hover over these to see where the majority of these conversations are happening now if i wanted to choose just the united states i can do that and let me do that and then i think there we go so now i, ch I chose united states now there should be a breakdown of the state map and it should be color coded based on where the conversations are happening. So there it is. So it's happening on the coast a lot in Texas, in Florida. You can see just by hovering um, what the conversation is. And I think if you click on it, let's see, it's not working. Anyway, um, that's it. I mean, all of this for free, it's seven days worth of data. You can look at trending topics. If you wanted to go back to key metrics, select one day. This will tell you what is happening right now. So again, Talk Walker, highly recommend using it. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you soon.